All right. So whenever we have anxiety, so here's the thing. We need encouragement when we have anxiety. Do you guys know what that is? It's like when you worry. It's like when, who here is going to start a new school in September? <laughs> I know for a fact at least three of you. <laughs> Because maybe you don't know the teachers. You might not know all the other kids. I'm a teacher, and I get anxious about the first day of school still. Because I teach. This year, I'm going to teach grade eight. Ugh. <laughs> Te teenagers. Ugh. So I get anxious sometimes, too. But when we think about it, Jesus came to save us from everything that we don't have to be anxious about a lot of the stuff that happens to us. So... I think God, when he sees what we're anxious about sometimes, it's kind of like first world problems. Do you guys know what first world problems are? <laughs> no. First world problems is like, for example, um, who here has a phone? You guys don't have phones yet? No. You have a, what kind of phone do you have? You have an S4. Wow. <laughs> so I'll be on my couch, and I have an iPhone. So here's my iPhone. And I'll be really comfortable. But then all of a sudden, I'll say, low battery. And my first world problem is, I left my charger upstairs. Oh, what a struggle. Life is so hard, right? Or, I'm really hungry at night, but I already brushed my teeth. Oh, what a struggle. That's the first world struggle. Okay, maybe those, that doesn't happen. You know what made me really anxious as a kid? When we were at the grocery store, and then we'd be lining up to pay, and then my dad would be like, oh, I forget to get, got, get the milk. So then he'd run off. He'd be like, all right, you stay here and line up. And then you get closer and closer to the line, and the next person would go, and you're like, what am I supposed to do? I'm eight years old. I don't have a credit card. And then you, you feel my, your heart like, doom, 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 doom. what's going to happen? So I think when God looks at the problems that we have, he sees them as first world problems, things like, Oh, I can't have a water fight outside because there's a water ban. When other people in the world, water fight means you have to literally like fight to get clean water. And then they look at us like, you put clean water in a toilet and you do what in it? <laughs> but here's the thing. So we're a new creation. So we don't have to worry about that. So do you know what this is? This is my water bottle. I'm going to open it up. Pour it into this. So you can notice there's bubbles for a while, and then what happens to it? You guys see anything? There's a little bit of bubbling. Okay, so here's something else. Do you know what's more alive? What is this? Do you guys know what this is? Seven up. All right, let's see what happens when we open one up. All right, let's get some cups out. Here, pass out some cups. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, everyone grab a cup. Okay, listen, what's the noise when I open this? Oh, sounds delicious. All right, I'm gonna pour some into your cups. Here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, don't drink it yet. <laughs> oh, running low. All right, I'm going to open another one. Let's listen to that again. Oh. Who here is getting thirsty? Look at that. What do you notice about the 7-Up compared with the water? What do you notice? Look at the, what's going on in there? There's bubbles. And then compared with this one, it's kind of dead, right? So in comparison, so our lives, we're called to be a new creation. We're called to be alive again. So I need someone to help me out here. All right, do you guys know what Alka-Seltzer is? No, it's what old people have to eat because they can't eat McDonald's anymore. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn our dead water. We're going to give it a little bit of encouragement. We're going to make it come alive. All right. Um, you guys grab a little bit and put some in the water. 
Oh, here it goes. <gasps> what do you notice? <laughs> it's starting to look like the 7-Up, isn't it? Oh, there it goes. Do you see the bubbles coming out? Oh, look at that. It's <laughs> Yeah, I think we put a little bit too much in. So here's the thing that we have to remember we're a new creation that sometimes in our lives, our anxiety kind of weighs us down and we become flat, like pop. Who here is like left pop out and then they drink it and it's not very alive. It's not very bubbly anymore. So our job as Christians are to encourage one another. Next time someone's going through something hard or, or is anxious about something, remind them that, you know what, we're called to encourage one another because we're a new creation and we don't have to worry about these things. Because of Christ, he's like the one that comes and transforms us back into this alive, moving mixture. All right. Uh, today, you guys are going to follow Auntie Kristen. <laughs> no, you don't have to follow me. All right, so you guys are going to go downstairs. Uh, you guys can take that with you. Yeah, you guys can drink it downstairs. <laughs>